हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो इन दिस क्लास वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फैक्टराइजेशन ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक पॉलीनोमियल व्हिच इज अ टाइप 3 टाइप ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक पॉलीनोमियल यूजिंग द मिडिल टर्म स्प्लिटिंग मेथड सो लेट्स वी हैव अ क्वेश्चन दैट फैक्टराइज x2 11x 60 दिस इज द क्वाड्रेटिक पॉलीनोमियल बाय मिडिल टर्म स्प्लिटिंग लुक एट दिस क्वाड्रेटिक पॉलीनोमियल हियर वी हैव टू साइन वन इज पॉजिटिव the second one is negative so this is a type 3 type of quadratic polynomial and we are going to factorize it so we have to first compare this quadratic polynomial with the general quadratic polynomial okay this is the generic quadratic polynomial okay now after comparison what we get after comparison we get a is 1 okay And b is 11 here, and c is minus 60. H L H. We have the multiplication of coefficient of x square that is a with the constant term c is equal to 1 into c is minus 60 that is minus 60. Okay. So here 11 or plus 11 is the middle term, or you can say plus b is the Middle term. So I am writing here. This is the middle term. Okay. So here we have to split this middle term into two parts. Okay. We have to split 11 into two parts. This is the first part and this is the second part. So that their addition, whenever these two parts will be added, they should give 11. And when they will multiply they should give minus 60 okay so at first we have to break it into two parts in order to break it into two parts we have to factorize this 60 okay since it is minus 60 so neglect negative sign so now we will factorize this 60 2 30 2 15 3 5 5 6 And hence we get 60 is equal to 1 into 5 into 3 into 2 into 2. Among these five numbers, we have to choose a pair so that they will give 11 as addition and minus 60 as multiplication. So in order to choose it, we have to keep in mind one thing. See over here. In these two cases, in the multiplication case. Whenever these two numbers are being multiplied, then they must give a negative sign. This is important. They must give a negative sign. So as we know, plus is multiplied with plus to give plus. Negative is multiplied with negative to give plus. Plus is multiplied with negative to give minus. And minus is multiplied with plus to give minus. Since we need negative sign after multiplication, so the above two will be removed out because they. Are impossible as we need negative sign in the multiplication. So remove it. Now from the rest of these two, we have to choose which one will be the perfect one. So it is now sure that out of these two number, one must be a positive or another is negative. In these two cases also, one must be a positive and another is negative. So it is clear that one number must be positive. And one number must be negative. Now we will choose which one must be positive. The larger number is positive, or the smaller number is positive. That is also important because because we need eleven plus eleven positive sign after addition. Okay, so we have to now choose out of these numbers which one must be the positive number, the larger one or the smaller one. Okay, now. See one thing here. When nine is added with minus eight, then the answer is nine plus minus minus eight is how much? Plus one. Okay. And when minus nine is added with eight, then the answer is minus plus minus. That means they can be subtracted to give minus. Now look at these two examples. Here, this is positive, this is negative, and this is 
नेगेटिव एंड इट इज पॉजिटिव इन दिस टू केसेस यू सी हियर वी गेट पॉजिटिव साइन एंड हियर वी गेट नेगेटिव साइन दैट मींस व्हेन एवर ए नेगेटिव नंबर इज एडेड विद अ पॉजिटिव नंबर और अ पॉजिटिव नंबर एडेड विद अ नेगेटिव नंबर वी मे गेट प्लस साइन और माइनस साइन बट व्हाट वी नीड हियर वी नीड प्लस साइन हियर दैट इज वेयर व्हिच वन मस्ट बी द करेक्ट वन आउट ऑफ दिस टू दिस वन मस्ट बी द करेक्ट वन सो रिमूव आउट दिस क्लियर नाउ सिंस here we get positive sign after addition but see one thing out of 9 and 8 which one is the larger number 9 also 9 9 definitely the larger than 8 yes or no yes and you see the sign of the 9 is positive here and the sign of 8 is negative here that means the sign of the bigger number or the larger number must be positive the sign of the smaller number must be negative this is important why because whenever a larger number and a smaller number are being subtracted then they will give a positive sign that is why this must be a bigger number or larger number both sign must be positive and the sign of the smaller number must be negative this should be keep in mind okay you can take another example to show it suppose 4 and 3 this we have to take the bigger number as positive sign and the smaller number as negative sign hmm and add them 4 minus 3 is 1 and we get positive sign here so it is clear now that the bigger number must be positive and the smaller number must be negative now out of this five number we have to choose a pair okay suppose i am choosing this as a pair first number 1 to 5 is 5 and the remaining are 3 into 2 into 2, 3 into 6, 6 to 12. Okay, since here it is given that the bigger number must be positive, so it must be plus, and it must be minus. Okay, now let us multiply them. 12 into minus 5 is minus 16. So it is satisfied. And let us add them. 12 plus minus 5. 12 minus 5 is 7. But we need 11 here, and it is 7. Is it correct? no this assumption is wrong let us choose another pair okay suppose i am choosing this as a pair 5 into 3 is 15 and the remaining part 1 into 2 into 2 that is 2 to the 4 1 is 4 since we need positive sign is bigger and this must be minus now let us multiply them 15 into minus 4 is minus 16 this is satisfied and 15 plus minus 4. Let us add them. It will be 15 minus 4 is equal to 11. And here we need 11. So this is the correct assumptions that we need. Okay. Now we can write for that plus 15 and minus 4 are the two parts of 11. I am writing here plus 15. Okay. And minus 4 are Two parts of eleven. So that, so that fifteen is added with minus four to give eleven, and fifteen is multiplied with minus four to give minus sixteen. Okay. Now the middle part has been divided or broken into two parts. Now. Here we have the quadratic polynomial x square plus 11x minus 60. Okay, now x square plus since this middle term has been splitted into two parts, first part is 11 and the second part is minus 4, and we need to write the larger number first. So the larger number is plus 15x. Then this 15x is added with Another part that is minus 4x, then minus 60. Okay, it is clear now. X square plus 15x plus minus is minus minus 60. Now we need to put the bracket over the first two term and bracket over the second two term. So put bracket. But whenever you are trying to put bracket over the second two term, you can see. There is a negative sign in the first number, 
of the second part that is why you should take negative sign as common hence whenever negative sign is taken as common as i told you all the signs inside the bracket will be changed to be plus okay so this is the first term this is the second term now from this two term you have to take x is common so it will be 1x plus x taken as common so it will be 15 now minus from this two term what should be taken as common as we know 60 can be written as 4 into 15 hence from this two term we can take 4 as common hence the rest one will be x plus 15 ok so this is the first term this is the now from this two term, you can see x plus 15 is present in the first term and x plus 15 is also present in the second term. So take x plus 15 as common and the rest one will be x minus x plus 15 is taken as common over. And this is the product of this two linear polynomial that we need. Hence this quadratic polynomial is converted into the product of two linear polynomial. Okay, what are they? They are x plus 15 into x minus 4. And hence we can say yes, now the quadratic polynomial is being factorized into two linear polynomial. Okay, so let us do another question of this type 3 quadratic polynomial. Okay, when we have to factorize the quadratic polynomial 2x square plus 12x minus 32 by middle term splitting method. So, using the same procedure, first comparing it with the general quadratic polynomial. So, here we get a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 12, c is equal to minus 32. Okay, and the product of coefficient of x square with constant is equal to 2 into minus. 32 that is minus 64 and here plus 12 is the middle term or b is the middle term that means we have to factorize or we have to split this middle term 12 into two parts so that they will add to give 12 and they will multiply to give minus 64. So, in order to split it into two parts, we have to factorize this term. Okay, minus 64. So, forget about negative sign, eliminate it. Now, factorize 64. 2 is 32, 2, 16, 2, 8, 2, 4, 2, 2 and 2, 1. So, what we get? We get 64 is equal to 1 into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 2s. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 and 2. So, among this number, we have to choose a pair so that they will add to give 12 and multiply to give minus 64. Since we need negative sign in the multiplication section, that is why it is confirmed that one number must be positive and one number must be negative because plus and minus are multiplied to give negative sign. Now we are searching for the number so that they will, multi they will add it to give a positive sign and as you have already did it that the bigger number must be positive and the smaller number must be negative so that they will give positive as addition. Because suppose I am taking 12 as positive number and minus 10 as negative number and add them. See this is the bigger one, this is the smaller one. Then the answer is 2 that means plus 2 and we get plus sign here. And we also need the positive sign here. That is why the bigger number must be plus and the smaller number must be minus. Okay, it is now confirmed. So, we have to choose any two numbers. Suppose I am choosing uh, first this two term, okay, with another term. One into two is two, 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 
टू टू जा हाउ मेनी टू फाइव टू इट विल बी थर्टी सिंस यू नीड पॉजिटिव साइन एज बिगर नंबर सो दिस इज प्लस दिस इज माइनस नाउ आफ्टर एडिशन इट गिव्स थर्टी बट यू नीड ओनली ट्वेल्व इयर सो इट इज इम्पॉसिबल आर एजम्सन सी रॉन्ग इयर सो दिस इज नॉट द करेक्ट एजम्सन नाउ लेट अस मल्टीप्लाई दिस Three number is a part. Two into two into two is how much? Eight. And the remaining one, two into two into two into one, is how much? Two two is four two is eight. Here, both the numbers are equal, so you do not know which one is to take as negative. So I am taking this one as negative and add them. Minus eight plus eight. It gives zero, but we need twelve here. So it is also wrong assumptions. Okay. Now again. You can see, I may take this four as a number. This four two, two two ja, four two ja, eight two ja, sixteen, and the remaining one two into two, four into one ja, four. Okay. Now, as we need positive sign for bigger number and negative sign for smaller number, and let us multiply them. This minus sixty four. This is satisfied, and add them. It is 16 plus minus the minus 4, and we need here 12, and we also need 12 as addition. So this is the best assumptions that you can take. Okay, so I am writing here minus 4 and plus 16 are the two parts of. Which one is the middle term? Twelve. So that whenever they will add, okay, let us add them. Sixteen plus minus four. Sixteen minus four. That is twelve. And whenever they will multiply, they give minus sixty-four. Now it is clear. So this quadratic polynomial can be now written as two x square plus twelve x minus. 32 is equal to 2x square. This 12 has been split into two parts, 16 and minus 4. 16 should be written first, plus 16x. This is to be added with minus 4x. Then the remaining is minus 32. Hence we have to put bracket over the first two terms, but before that we have to change the sign here. Plus minus minus. Now. Putting bracket over the first two term and bracket over the second two term and here again negative sign comes so minus sign is taken as common and it will be four x plus thirty two from the first two term and the from last two term we have to take some common now you can see from these two term we can take x as common and what should be taken as common except to x. You can see 16 can be written as 16 can be written as I'm writing here 2 into 8. Yes or no? Yes. 16 can be written as 2 into 8 because 2 into 8 is 16. Now from this two number x will be taken as common and what what one the other one? Two is the other number. So the remaining one is x plus two is taken as common. X is taken as common. It will be eight. Now minus from this two term. What should be taken as common? As we know, 32 can be written as 4 into 8 because 4 into 32. Okay, so 4 should be taken as common. Now the remaining part is x plus 8. Okay, this is the first part. This is the second part. And in between them, negative sign is present. Okay. Now you can see x plus 8 is present in the first term and x plus 8 is present in the second term. So take x plus 8 as common. Hence the remaining one is 2x, okay, and minus and 4, and it is complete. Hence this quadratic polynomial can be expressed as the product of two linear polynomial. And what are they? They are x plus 8 into 2x minus 4. And now this quadratic polynomial is being factorized using the splitting of middle term method. Okay.